Hi, Tim Schrock here. I want to do a quick uh, bonus tip today. And the topic is style palettes in cabinetry. Following up with a previous video that I've released uh, about a year ago and a question that a viewer brought up. So let's get started. Thank you so much for watching these videos. If you like the education and the um, information that I release in how many videos, over 200 something videos um, on Chief Architect now and, and beyond, um, would you consider leaving a, a tip? Right down here is the link paypal.me slash design build solutions. Thanks so much for considering that and your uh, generosity. Style palettes, the question came up from Curious Skeptic, hi, so the best I can tell, you can't save a certain shelf configuration in the palette, like base cabinet rollouts can't be a style palette option. If this is the case, that is a big oversight in IMHO. There should be a quick way to turn shelves into rollouts. Chief covers so many other things in the style palette, but this one seems blaringly obvious well, that it was missed. Maybe it's me who is missing the blaringly obvious, lol. Let's see. That's why I'm recording this right now. If we find the solution, then we've got a video. Um, good question. So let's go into this and I'm going to say, did it, 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 back inserts could there be here oh I know like rev a shelf that could be a back insert yes okay let's show the shelves open so you can see there's a there's a cool insert on the back, right? Okay, let's go back to door shelves. Let's specify a manual shelf one, and we're gonna say one inch, and we're gonna make that a Reva shelf. Pull out drawer like that. Okay, so there's that. We can confirm in 3D that's what it looks like. Let's create this as a style palette. We're going to create a new one. Door insert. And pull out. Let's see what properties we've got. Let's just select all. And click OK for now. And I'm going to do this and paste that on here. Let's open it up. And there you go. Now we have two. So let's, I'm going to draw a quick room around here. So we've got not so much distraction. We can do this again. Drop a base cabinet right there. I'm going to put my style palette on that and open up the door. Let's do that again and open up the door first so that you can see there's nothing there and then drop my style palette on it and that shows up. 
so let's figure out what style what part of the style palette was actually the part that's going to keep the the uh faith the inserts and the and the uh, drawers in there so i'm going to right click on my library catalog part and uh edit open object so i'm actually editing in chief architect x 14 i think we gain this option to actually they edit the um object in the library uh, itself, not the objects out here necessarily in plan. So I'm going to open that and set properties and restore reset to default. So these are the default properties that it's going to pick up. Um, I just did select all, so I didn't have to go look for it. I think the issue is copy face configuration. Let's clear all and just do copy face configuration and click OK. Let's do this. And drop in several. Let's drop in several of these. Let's just uh, move all of these back to the wall. I'll drop in several cabinets here. And we'll just open all of them. There we go. So now this style cat this style palette, if I open my object again and set properties, only has copy face configuration. From the object, the object has set up uh, this type of palette with all of the all of the properties, the countertop properties, the toe kit properties, material color properties, face configuration, drawer style handles, door handles, door styles, drawer styles, side, etc., etc. All of those properties, but the palette is only going to copy in this case the face configuration. Let's just drop it right here, and that's this. That is what you want is the face configuration. Now, the trouble is that if you have a, let's do, let's do this one and uh, door, door, we're going to change the uh, front sides. There we go. I'm going to change the shelves to back to automatic. And I'm going to make this one a style palette, create new door insert only, set my properties, clear all and copy phase configuration, click OK. If I do insert only on here, that will have this one. Okay, I'm going to create this one here. We're going to go to front sides back and I'm going to clear that so it does not have a door insert and has the drawer only and click OK and use that to create a style palette create new um, door drawer only set my properties clear component mode component code wait what did I say not component code, face configuration. There we go. Click OK. So I have a drawer only and I have a door insert only. Drawer only, I'm going to drop it here. Insert only, we drop there. If I put door on, drawer only on this one that already has an insert, it's going to change to drawer only. If I go back to door insert only, it's going to change that. If I go to insert and pull out, then it'll change that. So unfortunately, you can't stack a face configuration. Any face configuration, including, let's do this. Let's open this one and open my object. And let's say this is 10.
now if I paste my door insert and pull out into this, it's going to also affect how many drawers, how many doors, the height of them, and the inserts. So that is copy face configuration. It does do the, your inserts and pullouts, but that affects the number of doors and drawers. It has to be the same that way. Um, so wish there was a little bit more granular control with style palettes for that type of information. Curious skeptic, I hope that helps you. Um, it, it answers your question, but I'm not sure if it really, I haven't done this because of the whole face configuration thing. Um, you'd have to set up a lot of face configuration things. I want pullouts with no drawers. I want pullouts with one drawer pullouts with two drawers. Uh, you you got to set up a lot of scenarios. Um, and maybe that works for you. Maybe you have some situations where you're always doing pullouts with one drawer or no drawers and you're doing two pullouts or your, your pantry cabinet always looks like, you know, two doors and there's pullouts in the bottom and not the top. You know, maybe there are scenarios that are common enough to set this up as, as some style palettes for you. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video today. I click like and subscribe right down there. Um, take care and have a great week.